Okay, example shown the Newman projection for butane. So, N butane consists of four carbon atoms linked together to a linear chain together with hydrogen atom along the periphery. There will be considerable interference between the adjacent hydrogen atom when they are aligned. So the interference will be lower when they rotate about their own axis to give a staggered conformation. So on position when C1, which is in this one, okay. When, when they are in opposite position, just like in this confirmation, this one, so it will produce a staggered confirmation, which is the energy is lower compared to Gauge confirmation. So when atom or branches are adjacent, which is next to one another, just like this one, just like this one, which is next to another, also this one. So they are considered gauche. When they are 180 degrees apart, they are called anti. Okay. Basically, a gauche will have a high energy compared to staggered. Different in energy between anti-confirmation and eclipse is 3 kilocal and there are numerous confirmation between two extremes. So eclipse confirmation um, have, um, have a 12 kilocal compared to staggered. Among these are two mirror image gauche conformer where metal group are 60 degree apart. The most stable form is the anti or trans conformer, which the metal group are as far as a possible. Flexible flexibility of polymer chain will be related to the ease of conversion from T to G, from trans to gauche. The ease is dependent on the lack of hindering group and increased temperature. So as we can see here. This is the fully eclipse, and this is the partially eclipse. This is the staggered um, confirmation. So, the energy for the staggered confirmation is quite low compared to Bush, which is quite high. Here we can see this is the, the other confirmation. This is the eclipse, which is the rotation of the side group is uh, adjacent to each other. Okay. Okay, this is the potential energy for gauche and trans for butane. Uh, confirmation. So this one um, is the trans, okay? Trans, uh, trans for butane, and this one, this one is a uh, gauche, okay? This one also gauche. This one is trans. So we can see the potential energy for. Gauche, okay, and eclipse, anti, and eclipse. So potential energy is here. Uh, sixteen, three point eight, ninety, two point eight, nineteen. This is the potential energy versus the rotation angle. So this one is a uh, gauche. This one is trans. And this one is gauche.
What is the difference between anti eclipse gauche and what is the bit the difference between these three? So uh, the difference between these four terms, as I mentioned earlier, the anti anti so anti is the most stable anti also known as trans okay it is the most stable confirmation which is uh, the confirmation are as far as possible look at the confirmation of hydrogen the position of hydrogen bond is far from each hydrogen bond okay so anti or trans there are um there are 180 degree uh, apart from each other okay for gauche for gauche gauche look at the structure of gauche whereby the hydrogen bond um conformation okay conformation of hydrogen bond for gauche uh, rotate 60 degree apart okay sorry not for hydrogen is on uh, the rotation of ch3 actually okay the rotation of the methyl here ch3 ch3 this ch3 both rotate uh, 60 degree apart okay this one ch3 rotate at 180 degree Okay, look at the energy produced from gauche is 0 0.9 which is bigger than anti. So anti is the most stable. Eclipse, eclipse when the atom uh, line up which is uh, the formation of CH3, CH3 one in front of the other. It is berdepan, dia macam berdepan lah CH3 yang ni dengan Yummy. So eclipse produce the highest energy. Okay. This one is the other position. So it produce negative five. Okay. For staggered, staggered when the atom are next to one another. Okay. Look at the. Um, Rotation, you can look at the rotation here. Imagine this rotation by looking at this. Most stable conformation has the lowest potential energy. So, the most stable conformation is anti, or also known as trans. Okay, we'll see about branching or cross-linking. What is branch polymer? A branch polymer is formed when there are side chains attached to a main chain. A simple example of a branch polymer is shown in the following diagram. So we can see the structure have some branch here, here and here. Branch polymer occur when group of units branch off from the long polymer chain. These branches are known as side chain and can also be very long groups of repeating structure. So this is the branch and also this is the branch. Branching polymers can be further categorized by how they branch off from the main chain. Branching can form a network polymer which is formation of oligomer. There are however many ways a branch polymer can be arranged. One of these types is called star branching. Star branching result when a polymerization starts with a single monomer and has branches radially outward from this point. Polymer with a high degree of branching are called dendrimers. This is the basic structure of dendrimers. Often in these molecules, branches themselves have branches. This tend to give the molecule an overall spherical shape in three dimension dendrimer are a special case of polymer where every monomer unit is branch 
resistant to reduce intermolecular chain entanglement and crystallization. So we can see this chart. Dendritic, dendritic polymer can be divided into monodispersed framework and polydispersed framework. For monodispersed framework, it can produce dendrimer, which contain of dendron. For polydispersed framework, it can be categorized into hyperbranch, dendrograph, and linear dendritic. So basically, branching or cross-linking polymer. Uh, will retard crystallization. This is some example of the formation of the structure for linear crosslink branch and dendritic. For example, part of a linear polyethylene molecule. Okay and part of branch polyethylene molecule. This is a linear whereby the structure is regular structure. Linear polyethylene melting point has a melting point about 20 degrees C higher than the branch polyethylene. Linear chain can pack in a regular three-dimensional fashion the form crystalline phase while Part of hydrogen stays tangled up in an amorphous phase. High branch polymer is incapable of this due to random location and varying length of the branches prevent the regular packing. So low degree of branching also have degree of crystallinity but lower than in linear polymer. Due to regular arrangement and tighter packing of chain in crystalline region, Linear polyethylene is often called as HDPE, while slightly branched material is LDPE. Stiffness, strength, optical clarity affected by changes in crystallinity that are a consequence of branching. So HDPE has a very low degree of branching, is quite stiff and is used in applications such as small jobs. LDPE has significant numbers of short branches, is flexible, and is used in applications such as plastic films. The branching index of the polymer is a parameter that characterizes the effect of long chain branches on the size of a branch macromolecule in solution. Okay, we see the cross linking. Cross linking means that material that do not melt upon heating and will not dissolve but they may swell in compatible solvent. So the bond which hold monomer together in a polymer chains and many polymers form bond between neighboring chain. So top not as strong or rigid as the bond within the chain, this cross link have an important effect on the polymer. Polymer with a high enough degree of cross linking have what we call as memory. So the cross-linked polymer form long chains, either branch or linear, that can form covalent bond between the polymer molecule. Because cross-linked polymer form covalent bond that are much stronger than the intermolecular forces that attract other polymer chains, the result is a stronger and more stable material. Okay, this uh, cross-linking tend to increase uh, Tg and increase strength and toughness. So, cross-linking consists of the formation of chemical bond between the chain. Example of branching and cross-linking structure. So, Crosslinking is more complicated than branching. When polymer are crosslinked, a bunch of chain all become one big molecule. This is the structure for polyisoprene. This is the raw, raw cis one for polyisoprene. When adding sulfur, it will become become a crosslinked polyisoprene. This is some uh, different. Differences between branching and cross-linking. 